G'day Vlad here, how's it going? If you haven't already, like and subscribe. So today I'm going to show you a video of when I first the front line. He's someone I met playing ranked in a 1v1, um, in this game to be exact. And he's just a really nice guy. We had an enjoyable game, had a bit of a chat. I invited him to my Discord. So he's now on my Discord, so hopefully we'll get some team games in the future. So this is a matchup that is in my favour. It's Poles versus Teutons. And in typical Vlad style, I'm going to go for a petard rush. <laughs> I'll let you guys see what happens. So I'm just saying I'm a bit nervous. This is the highest elo I've ever been at. Uh, <laughs> So he says he's looking forward to taking my elo away. That could be some foreshadowing. Um, there we go. So I've got the typical eight on wood, three on stone, and the rest on food. And that's how I go up to feudal. He gets to feudal significantly before me. He lured his deer and rather than milling them like I do, so he's more skilled at that. So we see he hasn't touched his stone. He got to Castle Age quite before me. So he's got a uh, scout out, he's got a spear. He sees my veals coming for the castle drop, which I always put on the stone. Try to kill his scout quickly. There we go. So it looks like he's contesting the relic war, which he is. He's got two little idle vills on Smoko. Obviously, council workers. So here we go. He tries to stop the castle drop. I just assign most of my villagers to building the castle, then a couple to killing the scouts, fending them off. I uh, killed one veal. There we go. Let's see if we can get that up. This is one thing <laughs> I struggle with is when I get attacked by scouts who hit me and run. I don't know whether it's best to kill the scout or just turn them around and keep pressing that. Okay, so I've got my second town centre being built got the castle being built uh, status of him is he's got two TC's built he's building a nice wall there to stop me getting through with the castle so we'll fast forward that a little bit how many relics does he have? He has got two relics, and he's off to get some more. So I'm not really contesting the relics, because I'm planning on going wing to Sar after this. And that doesn't require gold, and I'm hoping to get a nice early finish to the game anyway. Here we go. We've got enough for another castle. Come in and build it close. Um, I was going to go in for the TC, so obviously I can see this house wall. That's what those five batards were for, they were to take out the starting TC. And he's already got another wall up here. So my fields are standing around idle way too long. That's a long time to have your fields just standing around there. So, whenever you've got idle views, you should put them to work. You should be constantly tapping your hotkey for idle views throughout the whole game. That's my opinion. So, after the game, he actually told me he was a bit confused about my castle placement. But the castle placement is by design like this. It's just so they've got a nice clear path to the castle. Hopefully he doesn't see him coming and then I can keep pushing with the tards. So, he's building this castle here. There we go, he gets it up, TC's down, and he straight away builds a meal. So he didn't lose too much from that, he's still got two TC's. I've still got two TC's. 
So the veal count is in my favour by about 10. Um, but he's already going to Imperial Wage, which spells danger for my castles. But if I can take down this castle, his Imperial Wage won't really mean a whole lot. So I do take down the castle. But straight away he builds another castle. So that, <laughs> that was a sad effort by me. Um, oh, it wasn't sad. I did my best. And still, if I can take down this castle, Imperial Age means nothing again. Although he does... He is building a university. So he can go for Bombard Cannons. So here we go, here we go. So... I didn't even nearly deal with it, but I took care of the trebuchets. Let's look at this castle. If this castle goes down, I probably win. If it stays up, I, I probably lose. So he comes in and repairs it. Good thinking. I come in with yet more petards. Oh, just a sliver of health. I almost took that castle down. But no, it's well and truly being repaired and... This is not looking good for me. So out here I've got a TC. I'm building some stuff here. I'm hoping it slows him down. A lot of people like to destroy everything before they go for the throat. So I'm hoping to just slow him down a bit. Build some counters here. So this is what's happening over here. His eco is expanded outside of his base. Over here I've got lots of idle views. I'm panicking a bit because I've lost all my castles. He does get a bit distracted by the houses, but not really because his trebuchets move straight into action. And here we go. So what really has lost me the match so far is my lack of discipline. If I had just saved up one more petard, two to be safe, that castle would have been going down. He wouldn't have those trebs and this game would be looking a bit different now. But I'm panicking. I've built these siege workshops. I forgot that um, poles don't have the upgrade to the scorpion. So I'm building lots of scorpions with and unable to upgrade them. Um, but that's okay. I was probably going to lose anyway, even if they were upgradable. So he's now got an entrance into my base. I hit Imperial Wage, but probably a bit too late. The momentum of this game's already swung away from me. Ket takes care of the ore box, wipes out quite a few villages, takes out the scorpions, and at this stage I don't really have much going for me. And that is GG. So the frontline beat me. His name is Uncle Iro in my Discord. That's his Discord name. Remember to like and subscribe and let's have a little look at the stats. So score, he wins across the board, except for in society. Military, 88 kills to 42. So he really smacked me around the face there. I got more buildings raised, but that's just because of the strategy I was going for. Eco. So I won food and stone. He won wood and gold. All right. But I think, all in all, it's pretty close there. Technology, he got to every age fast. 11 minutes feudal, in my opinion, that's a really good feudal time. 14 minutes 51 seconds castle age, that's better than I can do. And imperial age, usually I don't get to imperial until about 30 minutes. In this case, it took me 41 minutes and he did it in 28. So he did a really, really good job there. Um... I had twice the amount of castles, but again, that was probably because of my, my strategy. And timeline, it looks pretty much as you'd expect. Anyway, see you later, and have a good one.